more probable unidentified drones with course unknown and speed unknown. Contacts are operating at a range of a thousand yards and holding. Unknown, 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 unknowns. The U.S. Navy claims these are drones. They said they did an investigation. One reporter, though, says the Navy isn't telling the truth about this video of 100 flying objects close to the USS Omaha off San Diego. As you heard on the July 15th radio calls back in 2019, the sailors had no idea what they were seeing. Documentary filmmaker Jeremy Corbell reports the drone stayed at 21,000 feet for hours and the Navy's anti-drone weapon systems didn't touch them. Jeremy is here, who continues to break so many of these UFO uh, encounters. Uh, the, Na the Navy says they haven't figured out, though, it's drones. Right. So that is either a lack of imagination or they just weren't given the briefing because I have spoken with more of the people directly involved than any other intelligence agency, including the Navy's. And how do I know that? Because my witnesses have told me so. So I kind of have a direct line to the information and, and they were wrong. We're not going to debate the term drone. Whatever they were, they were unknown. All right. So what do your witnesses say that make these so different than anything else that we've encountered. Right, well, the main thing that is, where did they launch from? Where did they land? How did they have duration? How did they organize over 100 units surrounding 10 of our Navy warships and just disappear? Not a single one found. But it's more than just witnesses saying things. I provided the footage you're showing on the screen right now. All of those pieces of corroborative visual evidence showing craft that seem to be transmedium, being able to go into the water now. So the, the Navy put out a track that says a number of these encounters uh, were from ships that perhaps were Chinese in origin or had Chinese ties, and they were using commercially available drones to harass and, and chase U.S. US Navy uh, vessels. I see you shaking your head there. Yeah, yeah, so <clears throat> that is not only false information, it's verifiably false information from their own documents. To give you an example, that ship you're talking about was called Bass Strait, and that ship was in port during the majority of these drone incursions. So that false narrative has been propagated by subpar journalism all the way up to news. I mean, it's pretty crazy. So I'm writing the record. I'm throwing punches back and making sure people get relevant and real and actual data. So what would be the Navy's motivation in this? Is it incompetence or is it conspiracy? Well, first of all, everybody in our Navy are very confident. This is a very difficult situation. We don't know where these came from. We don't know the controllers of these units. And this is just one of many of these types of swarm events globally. So it's not a matter of incompetence. Everybody's on the same team here. But we need to identify the fact that we don't know. And then from well, there, do, we can start fixing the problem. Do we really believe, though, that they don't know? Or do we believe that they know and either it's a secret U.S. program or a secret Chinese program and they just don't want us to know uh, that they know as if we had found the B-2 bomber before the world knew about it? You know, look, I, I wish that were true. I really do wish that were true. Verifiably, it is not true. We don't know who are controlling these. This is the, but this how, is how do we issue. how do we know that it's not some secret government program yeah. and that the Navy just is continuing to deny, 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 cover up, cover up, cover up because it's indeed a secret program? It's a great question. There are protocols that are in place for when our Navy engages something like a black project and you sign NDAs and you're not to talk about it again. That's not what happened. The head of the Navy said that they're investigating this because they don't know whose they were. We shook down a bunch of boats trying to figure out where they came from. So it's not our black projects. That's ruled out, unfortunately. But somebody has this technology. And we basically ruled out the Russians and the Chinese, too, because the Russians fire upon the same types of UAP or UFOs that we do as of a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So they're not theirs. R real quick, have we ever tried to take on any of these drones, either fire at them or zap them with something to, to bring one down in your knowledge? Yeah, absolutely. There's a specific kind of target where you need to have certain things in place, like opportunity and tent capability. We indeed have tried to, as you said, zap down some of these UFOs, even on this 2019 event, 
you know, it was ineffective. Now, now the issue is other types of shoot down orders have been set, but we're not really prepared for that yet. We need to identify who these are. Wow. Stunning. Hey, Jeremy, uh, incredible. As you said, somebody has this technology. Who uh, is not the big question, not if. Hey, this is, this is awesome. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, good to see you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.